So hello, 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 and happy Monday evening. So before we get started, you know, I like to always find out where are you watching from and what are you drinking? I am drinking water and I am in Georgia. So how's it going today? Let me know in the comments how your day is going and where you're from and what you're drinking. Good evening, good evening. Super excited to be here. Yet another great new time and slot. So this is, I guess, our third time coming uh, live on Monday at our new time and slot. So hopefully everybody's enjoying it. Like, yeah, this is our third week. And I really am loving the Monday night slot. So <laughs> I feel like this is prime time too. Like, this slot is awesome. So I don't even think I'm competing with football, which is great. So tell me where you guys are watching from for those who are watching live and tell me what you're drinking because as I always say, it is happy hour somewhere. And if you know, you know, I haven't asked you guys this, if you guys know of anybody who are travel professionals that share uh, this video with them because you know, I do this every single week, come to you guys live and let you know what's going down on uh, in this internet world of travel. So watching from Maryland, welcome, welcome. I'm in Georgia. I am a recent transplant to Georgia. All right, we've got watching from Maryland and drinking a protein shake. Awesome, I'm drinking water. So I'm in the, I'm right outside of Atlanta in um, a town called Stockbridge. Uh, so I am a new transplant to the Georgia area and I am absolutely loving it here. So I was talking to our yard guy last week and he was telling me, he said, I was like, is it normally like rainy like this? And he was like, no, it's not. It's going to be really hot. And I'm like, nothing's hot like Texas. So the weather, excuse me, the weather has been really great the last couple of months uh, since we've been here. Uh, Woodbridge, Virginia. All right. Welcome, Michigan. Welcome. All right. And I see we've got some people from my old state, Texas. So welcome. I'm super excited that you guys are able to join me live. And so, you know, this topic as in every week I try and come to you with some uh, juicy new bit of information or something that's going to help you in your travel business. But before we jump into the topic, let me ask you a couple of questions. Now, if you are new to me, um, what I love to do every week is I like to get the perspective of the people who have joined me live, get some information about what your experience was. And so in my normal fashion, I'm going to ask a couple of questions. So here's how it works. If this sounds like you, I want you to type a one. If it doesn't sound like you, type a zero so I can see how many ones that pop up. So the first thing I want to know is how many of you are, and this is actually not a one or zero question, but I actually want to know how many of you are recently new to the business, have either been recruited by someone that you know, or recently joined a host agency within the last six to 12 months? Let me know in the comments. So that, I guess that, that could be a one or a zero. If it is you, type a one. If that isn't you, type a zero. That means I know that you've been here a long time in the business. But if you are recently joined the travel business, meaning you have signed up with the host recently within the last six to 12 months, type a one. If you've been in the business longer than you know 12 to six months, then type a zero. All right, so we've got some ones coming up, popping up. Right, and so this is gonna actually require you to type a little bit of information. So why did you become a travel professional? Like, why did you join? What made you decide to join? I'd like to know like, what is your motivation? Like, what was the reason you decided to join and become a travel professional or start your own travel business? What was the, what was the number one or number two reason why you pulled the trigger, right? So for those that are ones and you are recently joined, um, or even if you aren't recently joined, what made you decide to become a travel professional? I would love to know in the comments. And so while you guys are typing your comments, I'll tell you my story. My story, I joined, I was recruited into the business some five years ago. I was recruited and to tell you the truth, I don't even know who recruited me. Like, I don't think I knew her. Um, 
I think she found me on Facebook because I've been advertising on Facebook. I was a general coach. I was teaching at the time that I became um, a travel pro. I was a general marketing pro coach. I was teaching online businesses, small business owners, how to utilize Facebook to get clients. And um, I had just recently at that time in 2016 had um, recently stopped coaching salon business owners. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. <coughs> I had recently stopped coaching salon business owners because I had gotten a little disgruntled with the business. And I said, you know what? I, I am an expert in the, uh, Facebook ads. I'm just going to teach Facebook ads to the general population, not any specific area. And somebody slid in my inbox. I, I don't know. And this was, you know, back five years ago, sliding in the inbox wasn't as prevalent as it is now, right? So in my naivete, <laughs> knowing i think messenger i mean messenger was like a thing but it wasn't like a thing thing like people use it now and so somebody i think slid on my inbox or i don't know i don't even remember how i knew this but i knew it wasn't somebody i knew and what they said was you know i've got some opportunity and you know this was me i was green i didn't really know what opportunity meant i was like well, what kind of opportunity you got right I was, I was relatively new to the internet, like online coaching and, um, and that kind of thing. So when they slid in my inbox, I didn't really understand what they were doing. Right. So, and what I want to also do is set the stage back in 2016. I always loved to travel. Like I knew travel was in my blood and, um, you know, I was just my kids back five years ago. They were, they were getting older. So, you know, I wanted to really travel more but I was really focused on building this coaching business. So anyway, somebody slid in my box and, you know, for those who were recruited, you know, maybe your story is very similar. Uh, somebody slid in my inbox, told me about an opportunity and then told me about travel. And I was like, well, hot damn it, travel, right? I can become a travel professional. Like I can get the inside scoop. And so when I signed up, I wanted to just get my family a five out of town. My, my oldest um, at the time, so five years ago, she's 23. So whatever that age is, um, she was, cause I think our first like cruise, she was 16, 15, I don't know, even younger than that, if I do the math. Right. And it was expensive traveling with five people. Right. Um, I didn't intend on coaching travel. Like I am now, I didn't intend on doing that. I was focused on teaching the world of Facebook ads. So I signed up and I was like, you know what? I want to know how people book travel like i want the inside scoop so my recruiter was like you can travel for like next to nothing as a travel professional and not only that you are going to uh be able to make money on the side you know selling travel and i was like well i'm not really interested in selling and i just want to know like i want to be in the know because i'm an information hog i don't know how many people out there are information hogs like you don't want to miss any bit of information that exists, right? So, you know, five years ago, I wasn't on, I mean, I've always been on information overload, but I wasn't really like overloaded with information like I am now. So like I'm hiding from information now. So then I was like, yeah, I want to know. I want to know and I will pay so that I can become an insider. Like I wanted to be an insider. And so I signed up. I'm not going to tell you who I signed up with. Um, I usually tell that in private conversations. I'm not trying to blast any particular host agency, but I was recruited. She told me that, I mean, there was a video I watched. I got on the phone and, you know, her upline talked to me, you know, and I think it was even her director talked to me and told me that this was the business to be in, right? And I, I listened to the speech, right? And and again, I had an ulterior motive. I wasn't really interested in the opportunity. I wanted to travel as an insider. That's what sold me on uh, pulling the trigger. I was like, okay, it's going to cost me less than $200. I have to pay some monthly fee and I'm going to learn how to travel like a travel agent. Like I can stop calling the travel agent that I call and she could stop going back and forth with me. And I could just book my family myself. That was like the reason I did. Like, was that any of y'all's reasons, right? So let me read what some of you guys have said. 
um, some people said that they because they they planned a lot of trips, right? And I was told that they could get paid for it, right? That's exactly what I was told too, right? Every and and it wasn't because my story wasn't oh I plan trips for others. It was I'm the mom, I'm the person who gets us out of town, right? And I still say that today. I am the person that gets my family out of town. If we're going to get out of town, it's because I got us out of town. So I was like, yeah, and why not get paid for it? And not only, like, I want to go, I want to take my family of five and get out of town for next to nothing. Like, and I want to go on free trips. Like, who doesn't want to go on free trips, right? Right. So let me read what were some of the other things was, um, was many uh, years ago, but I really, let me see if I can read this over here because I've got like two screens going and I can't um, see. All right. So somebody over here says that one, um, but didn't really work it, wanted to plan family cruises and decided I should get paid to plan. Right. So the, 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 the consistent theme was you were told that you could get paid for planning other people's trips. Right. That's what I was told. But again, I wasn't really interested in trying to become a travel agent for other people. I wanted to become my own travel agent for my family, right? And then I was told I could get paid for trips that I even booked for my own self, right? Um, and then somebody, uh, so I jumped. I was like, it was a no-brainer. 200 bucks, less than 200 bucks is going to cost me 60 bucks a uh, month. And then, you know, there was a sort of side opportunity told, right? Like if I sign other people, and that sort of went in or went out, one, or, one ear and out the other, right? Because I had heard about, like I have in the past joined networking companies and, um, you know, I've done financial networking and I've done all these things before. And I was like, I'm not interested in trying to build a team. Like that was not my thing. I wanted the inside scoop, right? So I jumped, I jumped. I became a travel professional, so to speak, right? And I took, I don't know, like every training I could find that I thought of interest. It was like, if I wanted to go to that resort, I took the training. If I wanted to do this, I took the training. Like I thought that the training that I took was going to help me learn how to book my family, my family of five, right? Because my big reason was family of five, I'm trying to get out of town for free, right? Um, and I, uh, and I wanted to, um, I wanted to leverage that. So I started taking training, like, you know, I'm <laughs> like, I'm coaching by day and I'm at night taking travel training, right? I had taken, I had taken, um, and, and, and how many of you out there right now have taken a plethora of uh, supplier training? Your host agency gave it. I took AMR training, like, and that was a long training. I took cruise training. I took, I mean, I, I took so many trainings, like I took. You know, I was like, I'm going to become a specialist in Florida. I'm going to become a Jamaica specialist. I'm like, I went and I consumed it, like again, because at that time I was a knowledge junkie, right? So I like took as much training as I possibly could. So, right, is that something that you guys can relate to? Type of one, if that's like something that you could relate to, like you take it a bunch of training, you know, and you know, this girl who I don't remember who who she was, she recruits me. And I, I'm asking her, I'm like, okay, like I've taken this training, like how do I book a trip? And she's like, well, you need to go to the back office and you need to do blah, 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 right? And I go to the back office and I do blah, 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 blah. And I still couldn't figure out how to book a trip for my family. Like I go to the back office, they have a search thing and the shit was confusing. I'm not going to lie. It was confusing as hell. Like I go to the back office and I'm trying to figure out how to like i do dfw to mexico and i'm like what the hell is this right first of all i couldn't even figure out how to get that done and then like i couldn't see the prices like i expected it to be like it was when i googled a trip and it would come back and it would tell me it's going to cost you five thousand dollars six thousand and i was expecting it to be like drastically cheaper than what i had been able to do from google and I was saddened. <laughs> I was so saddened because it wasn't cheaper, nor was it easy for me to figure out how to get my family for free. My, my, not my family. First of all, I couldn't figure out how to get my family out of town with the tools that I was provided, nor could I figure out how to get out of town for next to nothing. Like it was equally as expensive or more than what I was doing in my own Google searches. Did you guys the experience that as well. So we're getting some ones, you know, you guys have taken a lot of training. 
So it sounds like you had a similar experience. And this was me five years ago. So, you know, you guys have recently been recruited. So maybe that's the same thing that's still going on, right? I haven't gone and through the recruiting experience in five years, but that was my experience. And I wanted to go on a cruise. Like I was like, I want to go on a cruise. Like I've heard everything awesome about cruising and I want to go on a cruise. So I'm telling you, like I am searching high and low on how to get my family of five on, on a boat. Right. And all I kept finding was like, you go to the site. Like I remember going to carnival because, you know, I was in the Dallas Fort Worth area at the time and going to a carnival there was a port in houston and i was like well i know i can get to carnival i know i could you know everyone's talking about carnival i know some people have gone on my bff he had gone on carnival and talked all about it so i go to carnival site and i'm like what the hell am i supposed to do with this right and then i take the training well first of all i didn't even know that i could take carnival training and then i did take the training and then i take this god awful long training for carnival and i'm like now what am i supposed to do and i remember like trying to contact somebody like like contact the lady that recruited me and she never replied to me and then somehow i like tried to contact somebody and you know again i've got like a full-time job and i'm trying to build this business and i'm just trying to get out of town like i'm trying to do all this stuff and i couldn't figure it out and <laughs> my story is spirit who i used to fly religiously i um uh for the person who's having trouble on the screen i've got my computer up and i see myself so and i i, I assume can everybody else see me can you just i assume that since my computer is showing me and i'm like i've got like three screens you know of different things and i still so can everyone else see me if you guys just let me know in the comments if you can see me and you can hear me clearly um, and I just did a couple of minutes just to make sure. Okay, perfect. You can see me and you can hear me clearly. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. So I was a huge spirit. So I, I you know, I was in that, like, you know, I had was part of the spirit club. So I paid 80 bucks a month so I could get like, you know, $25 airline tickets. And somehow they send me an email for a cruise so spirit cruise sends me an email of how to take a cruise the i call i was like and it was some i don't know i remember if i remember right it was like 500 dollars. like get your family out of town and for 500 dollars. and i was like 500 dollars. like i'm in for that so i call and i end up talking to spirit cruise line and i end up paying retail price to get us out of town I have this superpower and I don't know how to use it. And I end up paying retail, right? So, cause I couldn't figure out how to, I could not figure out how to book. And when I reached out for help, I couldn't get the help that would help me do the very thing that would allow me to use this amazing superpower that I had purchased into, right? And so I spent $5,000 on our cruise and I, had a horrible time actually because not because the cruise was so bad because i didn't know how to like i didn't know how to cruise with my family right so but i thought that the cruise was going to bring us closer together and we were going to have this amazing family experience but the cruise was like permission for everybody to go their separate ways so i'll have to tell that story another later but the reality is is i had paid I had invested time in training and I didn't get the knowledge that I needed to fulfill what I wanted to do. So not only did I not make any money on the $5,000 cruise that I took with my family, I paid retail pricing. So now subsequently fast forward, I don't obviously do that. I get, I get, you know, I can get my family of five out of the country for, you know, half of that price. Right. So usually, I think it's normally four of us now that traveling because my daughter has left the house. And so we now can normally take a cruise, seven day cruise for $2,500 less. And we're in the top line suite, right? So we're in a huge suite. Now we're, you know, the next cruise we're going on, it'll be the boys are in their own room and my husband and I are in our own room. Anyway, to make that very long story short, the point is, is I was recruited. I had an objective and I couldn't meet my objective. And apparently some of you can relate to that. So 
Before I continue this story or continue with today's training, let me introduce myself for those who are new to me. My name is Sunday Gardner, the online travel boss. So fast forward five years later, I am now focused on all of my training and coaching on the travel industry and those people like me who have been recruited or have decided to become a travel professional. And now you're like, now what? What do I do with this superpower? Because effectively you do have a superpower. You have the ability to book all over the world yourself at a discounted rate if you know if you have the know-how and to get paid pretty handsomely for your services for your clients. And so this is what I do. I come to you every week talking about what it takes to launch operate a profitable and successful travel business. So super excited that you guys are here. And it looks like a lot of you who are joining me live can relate to the same experience that I have had. All right. So what we're going to talk about today is what your sponsor may not have told you is the keys to your success in this business, right? So this is a topic that I love about. I haven't told my story in a long time. You know, I just sort of do my my thing week to week and I forget that there are people who are in the same boat that I was five years ago, right? So fast forward five years later, now I'm focused on how to get you not stuck, right? How to get you unstuck. You have made this made this decision or maybe you've been recruited and you or you're thinking about it maybe somebody has told you about the opportunity and you're thinking about it now what i don't do is i don't tell teach you how to build a team that's not my thing there are coaches that uh focus on network marketing and teach you how to build a team what i do is teach you how to use the superpower right and that's what i call it because it is a superpower once you know how to use it right how to effectively attract the right client and how to effectively get you and your families out of town, you too will think it's a superpower like I do. All right, so I've got five things that I wanna share with you today that are gonna help you get unstuck if you are stuck in your business. But before I go, like how many are feeling stuck? How many are not able to book travel for themselves at a discounted rate? How many in the comments? Let me know in the comments with the one. If that is you, type a one. How many people have not been able to utilize their superpower for themselves or their family. And when I mean utilize it, meaning you've been able to identify an opportunity for you to go on a fan trip, or you have been able to identify a way for you to go using a travel agent rate, right? If you have not been able to do that type of one, all right? And I want you to really put your COVID hat aside. If COVID wasn't here and you were comfortable with traveling, do you know how to travel as a travel agent, like a travel agent does, right? At a discounted rate or get on a fam trip and travel at next to nothing rate, right? Uh, so somebody says that they were, you know, I'm seeing a lot of ones. Somebody says that they need, a, they need a CLIA card. And these are all part of the information that you need in order to do that, right? So you're not able to use your superpower, right? Again, COVID aside, because again, you know, if you want to travel even during COVID and if you know how to do it, you can still do it. Right. So that that's exactly how I was five years ago. I couldn't I couldn't get out of town without paying a retail price. Five thousand dollars. Like, I mean, if I'm going to spend five thousand dollars on a cruise for a family of four, I mean, this shit needs to be the bomb dot com. Like I need to be at a luxury level cruise. Right. I'm a travel agent. I'm a travel pro. I got the superpower. There should be no reason that I shouldn't be able to benefit from that being in the position that I am, right? So I know now what to do. So we're gonna talk about five things that you need to know to be successful in this travel business that your your sponsor may not have shared with you, right? The person who recruited, or maybe the team that you're on isn't sharing that because maybe their focus is on team building and not really usage of the superpower, right? So this is what I discovered in the five years of doing this business and now you know, full-time coaching individuals. I've been coaching travel professional since 2018. So I was in the business for about two years, learned all that I could learn about the business and then took my knowledge of marketing and um, Facebook ads and all things marketing and married the two and created the online travel boss school. And so that's what I do. All right. So let's get into that. You ready for the five? All right. The first thing that I want to tell you is, is when I was recruited, what I was told is, is that 
you know, you, how you're going to make money in this business is you just tell your friends and family that you sell travel and that you're going to be able to sell travel to them. So you can, you're planning trips for your girlfriends, you're planning people's trips and you can now get paid for that. Right. But the trick here is that your friends and family have got a book with you. Right. And the reality is, is that if you want to be successful in this business, you should not be relying on your friends and family. They should not be your lifeline. Right. Let me say that again. Your friends and family should not be your business's lifeline. Now, if you want to get paid and you want to get paid regularly by doing the thing that you love, which is researching, booking travel. Right. You need to expand your influence beyond your friends and family. How many of you have actually told people that you're a travel agent? Right. Or you started a travel business, you announced it on your business page. And then your friends and family asked you, hey, I'm going to fill in the blank location. And can you tell me how much that's going to cost? How many has that? How many of that? How many of you have experienced that? Type a one in the comments. Have you experienced that? You told your friends and family, you announced on your social media sites, maybe you in conversation, you told the people that you know that I now have a travel business and they asked you for a quote and they didn't book with you, right? Seems like we've got a, several people who that who have experienced that very same thing, right? And I want to tell you a couple of years ago, um, like I don't even think I announced officially. I think I may have. I think back in 2016, I may have told like, because, you know, I, again, information logs, so and I'm totally type A, right? So I like to create lists just so that I could cross things off. So every certificate that I got when I was in training, like when I did my, you know, fill in the blank certificate, I remember I did AMR certificate. I remember I got a specialist in uh, Florida or something. I posted it on my uh, business, on my personal page, right? And I was like, yeah, I got this new certificate. And so I sort of soft launched and told people, and then I remember my girlfriend calling me up. I like she sent me a text and uh, and she's like, I'm going to what did she say? She said she was going to I, I think she was going to Miami or something. She's like, Can you tell me how much it costs to go to Miami? I'm going on these dates. So she like pr pretty much sent me her order and was like, How much she was gonna how much was it gonna be? Now by this time, I got hit to the game. And you're probably not hit to the game yet. So here's the game, right? You effectively have they have been utilized as a human expedia.com is what I call it. Right. Um, so instead of them doing the research, effectively what they've done is they, they're like, Oh my God, so-and-so just said that she's a travel pro. I bet she can get me a deal. So let me ask her, right. Or maybe they did the research themselves and they want to know if you can beat it. Right. So that's really the psychology of what's going on. Right. You announced on your page that you're open for business and you're ready to take quotes and you get so excited you take that you take that hoping and praying that they're going to book with you because you they're your friend you're they're your family why would they not book with you right but effectively what you've done is you've given them your knowledge for free right so the reality is if you want a price shopping that's exactly right nicole that's exactly what that is they're price shopping you. And instead of them doing the work, they've asked you to do the work on their behalf. Because back in the day, travel agents didn't charge for their service. Today, you should be charging, right? So we'll talk about that in a little bit. But the number one thing that you want to know right now to be successful in this business is your friends and family shouldn't be your lifeline, right? So what you want to do is you want to be able to create a model that's going to attract strangers. I saw somebody type earlier that, you know, I get the best business from strangers. That's right. You want to avoid tire kickers. And unfortunately, your friends and family are the biggest tire kickers there are, right? Because they know you. They think that they're going to get the homie, homie, homie hookup, right? <laughs> that totally dates me because I don't think anybody says that anymore. But back in the 90s, that was like the biggest, uh, biggest saying in the world was like, give me the homie hookup, right? I don't do homie hookups, right? And when it comes to my business, I don't really am not interested. Like if I'm going to do something, I'm going to create a package, right? And I'm going to do a discounted package or whatever I'm going to do. And I'm going to be like friends and family special, boom, buy into this. But like my general services are not homie hookup, right? Because I'm in business for profit, right? So this is what my hope is for you. So the first thing is, is you've got to repel tire kickers. So the very thing that you're, excuse me. 
the very thing that your sponsor may have told you is to go to your friends and family. You should run away from them because you want to make sure that you've set up a system in place that's going to discourage tire kickers in your friends and family and any other type of clients. So let me tell you the one thing that I did with my girlfriend. She texted me. She's like, give me a price to, I was like, I don't do that. Well, no, you know what? I didn't even say that. What I did is I sent her my link. And in my link, my link has a way to submit your request, your form. Like it's got all this collection data that I do. And at the bottom, it tells you that I charge a fee. And then she looked at it. She's like, I got to do all that to like get a quote. I was like, I don't just, I don't just do quotes. That's what I told her. And then she went away. <laughs> like she never asked me again about quotes. Like she never to this day has asked me to give her a quote right? Nor did I do the quote for free because she was, she was, she was, she was shopping me, right? So I didn't go because by that time I had done lots of quotes and no bookings and realized what the game was, right? So that's what's going on with you, right? Friends and family are not your lifeline. What you need to do is build a process around which you are attracting the right type of person to your business, right? And there's an even exchange, right? I'm going to give you something. And in order for you to get something from me, you're going to give something, right? I've got the mods. I've got the superpower and an exchange, right? Whatever that may be, we're going to have an even exchange. I'm not just going to give you information. I'm not going to be your human Expedia.com. I'm going to direct you to go to <laughs> Expedia.com, right? So that's number one. Number two is I was told that all you got to do is talk to your friends and family and it will sell itself. Travel will sell itself. And the reality is, is that it doesn't sell itself right? You, you, all the ones who just told me, you realize that you've told people you're a travel agency and why haven't you booked travel? Why is it not, why aren't you booking people on autopilot every single day if it's sold itself, right? The reality is it doesn't sell itself. Travel, this opportunity that you have, the superpower that you have, one, you have to learn how to use it, right? So, I am a, and you will often hear me refer to things as superpowers because I am a huge, huge superhero lover, right? I love all things superhero movies. Um, I wasn't a comic nerd, but I do love like superheroes, right? DC, Marvel, doesn't matter. I like them all, right? And so what is, except for Superman, what is the common theme for every superhero that acquired their superpower was there was a period that they had to learn how to use it, right? And that is the same thing for you, that you need to go into your period of learning how to use the superpower because that is exactly what it is. You've instantaneously got the ability to book all over the world. You don't know the insider information to be able to utilize that so you need to go in learning mode. The problem is, is the sources of information that you go to, to learn your superpower, isn't really going to teach you what you need to be successful. What it teaches you about is the fact that there are multiple suppliers out there for which that you can now book, and then you can immerse yourself in their uh, language and in their information. But it doesn't teach you how to book. It doesn't teach you how to market. It doesn't teach you how to get clients. It doesn't teach you how to operate your business. And that is what you need to learn. Does that make sense? Like, is everybody connecting with that? Right. You've got a superpower. You're like, if you're a Spider-Man hero and he learns how to cast his web, right? You've got to learn how to do that. You've got to learn how to cast your web to the client that you want to attract, right? First of all, many of you don't even know who you want to attract. You don't even know like who you want the web of people to work with, right? You're casting a wide net, trying to attract anybody and everybody. And by virtue of that, you're attracting no one, right? So the first thing is, is the second thing is, is that travel doesn't sell itself. But the third thing that I want to say is all knowledge is not the knowledge that you need to be focused on when it comes to utilizing the superpower, as you can tell, right? I could have plastered a wall with all of the certificates that I got in the travel business when I joined up. Like I was certified, you know, I was a, I don't know, I got a PhD in Carnival Cruise. I got a PhD in Royal Caribbean, whatever their levels are, I got them. Like I had the highest whatever I could get 
in those, but it didn't help me know how to get my family out of town. Even after I went on the cruise, I still paid my monthly fee because I was like, I'm going to figure this out. And then at the point when I immersed myself in learning the business, that is how I had to figure it out. But it was painful. It was not an easy task learning how to do this. There is so much information out there. If I didn't know how to attract clients, I would have been overwhelmed and lost, right? Is that how some of you all are feeling, right? You, you're out there. Maybe you've Googled how to do it. Maybe you're like consumed with YouTube channels trying to figure out how to do some basic things in your business and you're not getting as far as you would like to, right? You're still shooting spider webs out of your wrist and it's not hitting the mark, right? And that's what I want to make sure that we stop for you today is we stop you misutilizing the superpower. You start to get the benefits of why you join and you start getting paid for the, for you start finance, also start seeing the financial benefits, right? And my number four thing that you need to know is, is that there's no quick way of doing this, right? It took me years years and i still am learning about the travel industry there's still so much that i still do not know in the travel industry but so much of the work that i've done to get to this spot right has taken me years now if you want to spend years learning it on your own you absolutely can do that but the reality is nobody really wants to start a business so that they can have a full-time job trying to learn how to operate the business right you want and the reason you probably decided to move forward with this opportunity is because it sounded like something that you can do without a significant amount of effort on your part, right? Is that true? Like, did you sign up thinking that it wasn't going to take a significant effort on your part? And it doesn't have to, right? As long as you're getting the knowledge from the right sources, right? So let's talk about where are some of the knowledge sources, right? Now, before I continue, let's talk about uh, the purpose of your host agency. So let's make sure that you're super clear about what their value proposition is to you in this business building journey that you're in. Again, remember, I'm not talking to team builders. I'm talking to people who want to use the superpower to book travel for themselves or for their clients. Right now, if you want to book travel for yourself, the reality is you're going to have to position yourself in front of the suppliers as somebody who's actually interested in booking travel for clients so that they have a win-win situation, right? So that's one thing that you want to be able to take advantage of travel agent rates. You want to go on fan trips. You have to build a relationship with the people inside of those suppliers, right? Which are BDM, so business development managers. You have to build relationships with them such that you can be on the receiving end of a fam trip, which, and for those who don't know what a fam trip, that's a familiarization trip and suppliers will take travel professionals or allow travel professionals to come on their properties so that they can get familiar with their properties so that they can sell, right? If you wanna get on the inside and be able to take advantage of that, you need to position yourself as somebody who was selling travel. Yeah. I'm not going to go into how you can do all of that on the slick slide, you know, and your focus is on team building. I'm really focused again on those who want to build a business of travel, a book of travel with their clients. So the reality is, is that your suppliers and your agency is going to help you get connected to suppliers, right? So their value proposition is to get you a no bar, no barrier access to suppliers. That is the reason why you get so much access to travel supplier training. The assumption that your sponsor may not have told you is, is that you come into this business underneath the host agency. 99% of the time, the agency assumes that you know how to operate a business, that you effectively know how to market your business, right? You know how to attract strangers to your business. You know how to or that you have the wherewithal to figure it out or get it yourself. Now, don't get me wrong. There are team leaders that are excellent trainers and they will train you on all of the nuances of your business and they will do that. But the majority of people that I have encountered over the years, they're not with teams that, that give them that access or teach them how to do that, right? So all knowledge that you acquire in this sort of superpower training period that you're in is not necessarily the knowledge that's going to allow you to book 
allow you to market and allow you to get paid. Does that make sense? Like hopefully you guys are understanding it. So what do you need to really know from a knowledge perspective that's going to allow you to leverage the superpower? The first thing is you need to understand what this business is about and where you want to specialize. So I call it my arc system. And so my arc system is really around a sales and marketing process. So the first thing is like, how are you going to attract many of you that have started your business? My first question would be to you, what did you think your means to get in front of clients was going to be? Did you think it was social media? Did you think that you just go on your personal page and you would say, I'm a travel professional? Like what was the strategy that you thought would help you market your business? Right. Many people will say, well, I, I got business cards. I got myself a logo. I got myself a business name and I'm passing out business cards. And that is my strategy. Right. Well, now it's COVID. And now, you know, some of you have like decided to join even during COVID. Right. So the idea of passing out business cards is not as 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 an option as it was maybe three, two years ago, you know, pre COVID. Right. So now. How are you going to utilize the online space to get in front of strangers or even in a way that's going to allow you to consistently make money in this business? What's your plan, right? And so the first thing that you've got to be able to do is you've got to be able to attract, right? What's your mechanism to attract new people to you, right? The first thing that I would tell you to attract new people is to figure out what is it that will attract them or what area of this business you want to utilize to create an attraction system around. So let me give you an example. So for example, if I was brand new and I know what I knew, if I knew what I knew then back in 2016 and I wanted to focus on selling travel, right? The first thing I would do is I would say, you know what, I'm going to find a specialty, All right? Um, I've got a client and she is specializing in faith-based travel. All right. It's a great niche. Um, you know, there is a particularly um, in this time, uh, people who are it's not even this particular time. There are people who are strong faith believers. I am a Christian. I believe in God. And there are people who travel to go to uh, faith based locations. Right. Israel uh, being one of them. And so her specialty is faith. So who does she want to attract? She wants to attract either group leaders who want to lead group trips, faith-based leaders who want to, uh, who want to lead gr uh, group trips on a faith travel uh, package, or she's looking at people who want to do that. So what her attraction system is going to be a whole lot different than somebody who say wants to specialize in weddings, right? So in the comments, what I'd love to know are what are some of the things that you guys have decided to specialize in, right? Are you specializing in weddings? Are you specializing in wellness travel? Are you specializing? I was reading, I just uh, was reading an article on, um, uh, apparently Tijuana is like the Mecca for weight loss surgery, right? So medical travel is a, another large niche area, right? So what are some of your niche areas? Some of you may not even have decided to do a niche and you haven't, you don't have an attraction system start there. If you want to learn something that's super important to your business is determine and learn how to attract strangers consistently. And if you can on autopilot to your business, right? What are the means, right? So people can do that through YouTube. They have YouTube channels. Some people have blogs. Some people have an opt-in offer. They run ads. What are the things that you can do that will attract your ideal client to you, right? That's the knowledge that you need to be after. Number two is how do you build a way to relate to the new people that have attracted to you, right? So that's what I call relationships. So the A in the arc is attract, right? What's your mechanism for attracting and what is your mechanism for relating to people, right? What is the way that you are going to consistently start to build relationships? So the issue with social media and the problem that I would say collectively that people use social media for is incorrectly. They use it only from a personal perspective. I'm going to use social media so I can make money, 
right? Instead of using social media as a way to build relationships, right? Social media platforms were created for people to connect with you, right? And it was, you know, Facebook was created out of Zuckerberg's desire to connect college students together, right? And it's now blown into this amazing platform for us to be able to connect on a personal level, but we're not using it that way. We're using social media because we think it's going to make us money and we're not focused on building relationships, right? The best thing that you can do is utilize any of the platforms to build relationships. So you attract somebody new and then use the platforms to build relationships. So what's your relationship building mechanism, right? So some of you have told me what your niches are. We've got solo travelers, we've got serenity, tranquility, and euphoric travel. Those are great adjectives, right? Those are great experiences, but that doesn't tell, that's not a specialty. Those are, those are, those are adjectives to describe the experience that you want your, your people to have. But it doesn't tell me an area of travel that you're going to specialize in, nor does it tell me the person that you want to work with that you want to attract, right? So Carolyn says uh, solo travelers, right? And I know that she has even a more specific uh, niche than that because she's one of my clients and she is working on defining what that niche is going to look like, right? So I've got somebody that says groups and cruises and groups and cruises, those are great areas of travel. But again, doesn't tell me the audience. When I tell you that a wedding destination specialist, that I want to specialize in wedding destinations, right? That tells me exactly who you're going to work with, right? It's going to be, you're going to work with people who are engaged and want to go, who want to get married in a, in a non-traditional way, right? I immediately know who your audience is. So when you start writing content and you start building relationships with uh, engaged individuals, right? Your content is going to be speaking specifically to that need right it's going to be speaking to the need of working with somebody who wants to get married and they want to do it in an untraditional way right does that make sense right so your relationship building is what you should be using social media focus and that should be your focus right now so if you need to be gathering knowledge it should be how do you build better relationships on platforms or in your marketing material right if your material that you currently have does it collect information about your prospects like an email number a email uh, an email number an email a phone number their name so that you can start to have a relationship with them then your marketing is not doing you any justice right so you may have a mechanism to attract but if you don't have a way to communicate and start the conversation then you're losing out on an incredible opportunity to get clients um long term and even short term all right so that's number two, the, the, the R part. The second, the third part of the arc is your C, which is your conversion, right? How are you going to make money, right? So you've been attracting people, you've been relating to them, and now how do you convert them? So what's your sales process to convert, right? Are you just throwing up packages on your personal page, right? Hoping somebody is going to see it and click it. Are you boosting your packages to strangers and they don't even know why, who you are, right? That's normally what happens is you start this business, you post on your personal page, I'm open for business, book with me, then you get a bunch of friends and family who want a quote from you, and then they never book, and then you start randomly posting packages on your business page and you boost them because somebody told you that boosting is the way, it's the bomb.com and it's going to get you clients, and then you just get totally disgruntled because none of it's working, right? And the reality is, is the reason why it's not working because it's the absence of a plan and it's absence of strategy, right? So if you want to be successful in this business, this is not the business, nor is any business for that fact, this is not the business that you can just pay your host agency a flat fee and hope that it's all going to come together for you. You're going to have to acquire the right knowledge in the right things so that you can actually get the benefit that you want. And you've got to stop thinking of it from your perspective and start thinking of it from your client's perspective, right? Does that make sense, right? So let us let me make sure. We've got somebody who says that their specialty is in luxury business travel. We've got somebody saying, um, my focus is on people coming um, coming out and of a dark space and trying to grab a hold of life again. That's pretty deep. Um, you know, there's a whole lot of different ways that that could be interpreted. Could it be people who are experiencing depression? That could be your could be your audience, right? You know, you've got to just be very super careful and specific because what you don't want to turn into is you're not. You know, I mean, unless you are a counselor, you want to 
be very specific about where people are in that space and make sure that you direct them to the right if it is dealing with depression. Um, but the reality, the, you know, that's my favorite word, reality. And like, I always catch myself because I'm like, I've got to say the reality. I got to stop saying that. But here's the deal. Right. I kind of I, I kind of skipped over a couple of my points in my art discussion, but this is kind of the summary of what it is that I want you to get out of today's conversation. Your sponsor told you that you can make money. The reality is you can make money in this business, but you have to have the right knowledge. You have, to have the, you have to know the right way to use the superpower that you've got. Every one of you that have signed up with the host agency, unless they have specifically specifically not giving you access to um, travel suppliers, has the ability to book travel. Right, you have the ability to make commission on travel. As a as a business owner, you also have the ability to make revenue off of the services that you provide. You do not have to give out quotes for free, right? But that's knowledge. You need to know how to do that, right? You need to know how to be comfortable with doing that. So that's knowledge that you need to gain, right? Social media is its best usage is for building relationships, utilizing that tool for which you to attract the right type of client and build relationships on a consistent basis with those people so that you can then also start to get them into your uh, process and then offer them packages. Stop selling to strangers. <laughs> that's like, that's the, and, and what I mean by that, cause you'd be like, what do you mean stop selling to strangers? Most of you all, when you start posting on your business pages or your personal pages, you are trying to sell directly to strangers and that is very expensive and what you will find is it's very difficult to do right if someone doesn't know you they don't like you they don't trust you it's not likely that they're going to open up their wallet and spend drop a couple of thousand dollars or more with you on a package so stop posting about packages to an audience of people that you've not developed a relationship with, right? And we've already ascertained that you don't need to be posting packages for your friends and family, right? Or at least get, uh, offering up generic services to your friends and family. You want to attract strangers, build relationships with them, and then offer them a reason to buy. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense, right? So how do you do all of that? Like, how do you put all that together, right? That's a lot just in like, 50 minutes, right? I've gone over my time. I like to get done in 45 minutes and I've already gone, gone over my time. But how do you put all that together? Well, you know what? The re, the, what I've done is, is I've got a workshop coming on the 25th. So that's an act, almost two weeks from this past Saturday. And in this workshop, we are going to talk all things specialization offer and the foundations that you need to build a successful travel business. So what I'm inviting you to do is join me, right? Join me on this workshop and you can get in this workshop the knowledge that you need to be successful. So I told you what you need, but let's talk about how you can get there inside of this workshop. So this workshop is for free. So all you have to do is just, I should, one of my uh, client support specialists are on right now. You guys could just post the link to uh, the sign up. All you gotta do is register. You're gonna join me on the 25th we're going to be working together from 9 a.m to 12 so i'm going to be pouring into the people who join this for three hours on that saturday and we're going to be talking all things foundation to your travel business right so i can't do this in just an hour i mean i've talked for like 50 minutes and i still haven't been able to get all of the information that i want to get out to you so you definitely want to draw join our travel business blueprint workshop this workshop i designed it for all of the ones out there. So if you are a one, you answered one to any of the questions that I asked or anything that we talked about today, you're going to wanna to sign up for our workshop. Now, I don't do these workshops often. These are a super, um, what's the best term to say? These are a, um, a hyper experience, let me say that, right? So if you like coming to me live every Monday and I pour into you for 45 minutes to 55 minutes, you're gonna love this workshop because this is going to be a unique opportunity to work directly with me and my team as we peel back the onion of your niche, your offers, the foundational items that you need for your travel business. So who's in? Let me know. I think I've got some people. I think Robin, I think you're already signed up. So I'm super excited to be working with you. Tell me in the comments how many of you guys are going to join us on the 25th of September.
All right, let me know in the comments because I cannot wait to be working with you. So, you know, we we did this, uh, we did a similar workshop a couple of months ago and all right, love to see it. I've got a couple of people who say that they've already signed up. This is the opportunity to not, to take like a Monday session and get that on steroids. So we will be diving into really all of the steps that you need to know how to do uh, these building block up things that we just went over today. All right, we've got some people that have already signed up. We've got some new people that have joined. And I, again, I'm super excited. I'm gonna be here next Monday talking about another hot topic relative to launching, operating a successful and profitable travel business. But before I go, did you guys find value in today's lesson? Like, are you guys like super excited about like learning how to utilize your superpower? Like how to wield the web, <laughs> so to speak, like how to use your Spidey man, your Spidey senses, right? Superman's the only superhero that was born with his abilities, right? But you know, he didn't know how to use them until he was a teenager, right? So. Listen, I am all about teaching you how to use your superpower and cannot wait to work with you guys on the 25th. And for those that have already uh, signed up, if you haven't joined the special group that we have, you want to do that, reach out. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, special group, uh, let, uh, let us know in the comments. Tell me about the group. Um, once you sign up, you'll get a link to join the group because we are, we are networking inside of that group. All of the travel professionals that are in the same space, we're introducing ourselves and we are getting to know each other because again, we are going to be hyper-focused on the 25th, talking all things travel business, launching a successful and making sure that you have the right foundations. Listen, I will be here next Monday, same time, same bat channel, 6 p.m. Eastern, talking all things launching, operating a successful and profitable travel business. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.